educators are increasingly using online learning management systems in K-12. The goal of these systems is to deliver content and curriculum that is both face-to-face -face and online. There is much enthusiasm about this approach, commonly called blended learning. Research suggests inquiry-based approaches like this can provide students with autonomy and foster social relatedness, both conditions shown to support learning. However, the effectiveness of blended learning has also been debated. For instance, we know that humans have limited working memory. Finding and using information resources in addition to learning a core knowledge principle can overtax memory, especially for novice learners, causing frustration and demotivation. This research explores such debates within an introductory computer science curriculum of game design. Participating students learn by engaging with a suite of informational and social media resources in a learning management system. One finding shows that intrinsic motivation in students, that is, a disposition to engage in something out of interest or enjoyment rather than external reward, is positively related to game design learning outcomes. Another finding indicates that student participation in blended game design learning can actually reduce known effects of the digital divide, namely gender, race, and socioeconomic status. This research shows that before participating in the game design class, girls and students with lower socioeconomic status have lesser extents of digital literacy than boys and more privileged students. However, after participation, gender effects are eliminated and race and socioeconomic effects are reduced. This research offers evidence that inquiry-based blended learning with technology can be conducive for some learners under certain conditions. And importantly, inquiry-based game design has positive benefits in attenuating digital inequality. To learn more about Professor Rebecca Reynolds' research, visit RebeccaBReynolds.com.